This video will share tips on safe transport of adult critically ill patients and is designed for junior doctors who are required to perform this task due to resource constraints. A critically ill patient is a patient at risk of life-threatening complications. This includes patients who are on various life support, but also patients who appear stable but are at risk of sudden deterioration. During transport, these patients are exposed to danger. Problems that may occur include dislodgement of tubes and lines, equipment failure, patient agitation, and cardiac arrest. This video is part one and covers equipment preparation. Part two will show steps for patient preparation. The steps for both equipment and patient preparation can be easily recalled following the acronym DOCTORS A, B, C, D, E commonly used by various algorithms. The letters of the acronym are Assess if the patient is stable or if further stabilization measures are required. In some situations, a patient may be too unstable and the transfer needs to be aborted. Check the vital signs of the patient. Obtain important patient history. Wear personal protective equipment such as a plastic apron and gloves. Check the patient's response to verbal or tactile stimuli to monitor changes in this during the transfer. Is the patient agitated, requiring increased sedation? If any of the vital signs are abnormal, consult senior help immediately. Also seek help such as asking for a senior doctor to lead the transport if the patient is at high risk for deterioration during the transfer. The remainder of the acronym ABCDE will apply to both equipment and patient preparation. We will now go through a list of equipment preparation. Always bring along a full set of equipment for intubation. A patient can be accidentally extubated during the transfer, requiring mask ventilation and possible reintubation. You will require a self-inflating bag, mask of various sizes, oxygen tubing, oral pharyngeal airway of various sizes, laryngoscope with two sizes of blades, suction tubing, soft suction catheter, rigid suction catheter, portable suction machine, endotracheal tubes of various sizes, malleable stylet, a syringe to inflate the cuff, tape to secure the tube, medication for intubation, laryngeal mask airway, to ensure adequate breathing management, you will require enough oxygen supply, for long distance travel, note a standard size E-cylinder will contain about 400 litres of oxygen and you may require more than one full tank. A stethoscope, non-rebreather or partial rebreather mask, simple face mask. If a portable ventilator is used, ensure it's fully charged. Recall what you need to manage hypotension, arrhythmias and cardiac arrest. You will require IV medications such as adrenaline, 
amiodarone, atropine and lignocaine. A fully charged defibrillator. Gel or defibrillator pads. IV fluids. IV infusion set. IV cannulae. Three-way stopcock. Stoppers. Tape or anchoring device for IV access. Syringes. Needles. Water for injection. Alcohol swabs. For patients on vasopressor infusion, ensure adequate volume in the syringe and that the syringe pump is fully charged. Recall what you need to assess and manage a patient with neurological deterioration. You will require a pen torch, glucometer, dextrose 50%, sedation drugs. Bring equipment to facilitate safe transfer. You will require a fully charged transport monitor that can display continuous ECG automated blood pressure and saturation, extra gloves, a pair of scissors, and any other equipment needed to ensure the safety of the patient. All equipment must be put into a transport bag. If you face constraints, you can use a large toolbox purchased from the supermarkets at a very affordable price. The entire checklist is required for all levels of critically ill patients. Never transport a critically ill patient without equipment. Please watch part 2 for basic patient preparation prior to the transfer.